So welcome back guys to another Project Win. This week we've got a new camera. Yes, I'm on the Hero 7 Black, so if you're enjoying the footage, let me know. The audio is meant to be a lot better on this GoPro than on previous models, so we're gonna see. I'm actually taking it on honeymoon. That's the only reason I've got it, really. New tech. We love a bit of gadgets. Anyway, we're playing this week. Bit of practice. Let's go. So guys, the practice has gone okay there. I'm pretty happy the way I'm striking it. Just struggled with tempo in the couple of really social games that I had over the, the Christmas period. Um, but it's one of those things, just struggling with a little bit of tempo, feeling a little bit of rhythm in there. Struggled with the scoring, although I felt like I played pretty well. So we'll see on Sunday how it goes at Bungie. We'll have another, hopefully another practice before then. Um, just on a side note, you can see the snud I'm wearing is not a PJ Life one. It's actually for a local um, volunteer charity, Suffolk Lowland Search and Rescue. So it's a charity that is associated with my wife's dad. He's chairman of this charity, fantastic charity. If you wouldn't mind just going across, having a look at them, give them a like on all the social media channels. And if you do feel so inclined, any donations are gratefully received. Guys, another practice, then we're in it. First comp of the year, let's go. So good morning guys, and it's Sunday and we're off to a program. So we're off to Bungie and Waveney Golf Club today. I've got Mike who I teach and then two guys that he's bringing along from Stone Market Golf Club. So hopefully it'll be a good day. Uh, weather looks okay, a bit cold, but no rain. So that's the main thing. So let's get going. Let's get over there. Bit of a warm up and let's go. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Back to the drawing board. So hi guys, and welcome to the round review from Bungie and Waveney. Now, today has not been the start to Project Win in 2019 that I was after, but it's golf and it happens. So I put the stats up here for you. 
using Golf Shake again today. I've tracked the round. So fairways in regulation, 64.29. Greens in regulation, 44.44. 32 putts, one sand save. Up and down percentage of 40% and scrambling of 30. So I've shot 78, nine over par. It isn't good enough for project win. I know that, but I actually feel like I've struck it and played a little bit better and made smarter decisions than perhaps my score would suggest. So had a bit of a run on the end of the back nine where I've gone sort of bogey par, bogey double, bogey, and then it's just like, ooh, they're actually coming from nowhere. Um, the double has come from, I've tried to hit a cut four iron in from about 190 Eight, I think it was to the flag. So try to hit cut nine, uh, cut four iron in from there. Pitch it on the front part of the green and roll it to the back. And I've just hit it in a dead straight line. Um, well, slight double cross, so it's gone left and it's actually gone into a gorse bush. Luckily, it was in a gorse bush here. There was a path to the side, so I had room to drop it and get it back on the green. Got it back on and then missed the putt, tapped it in, so made six. So. It wasn't as bad as it could have been, obviously, but as I found the ball, but it was one of those, it just sort of came out of nowhere and then made bogey down the next. Actually, a lovely shot in with pitching wedge down the next. It pitched on the green up near the flag and spun off a false front down onto a bank. Um, it was really tricky to get it up and down. Clipped it on and missed it. So, actually, the round in terms of the front nine, it wasn't great. But I've made and swung it better than I than the score suggests. Back nine, I played quite nicely all, on the way through. Made a bogey um, and then made a birdie to get it back. Then three putted the par three. Stood on the next um, and there's some bunkers in quite a strategic place. So try to hit three with down there. Leaked it slightly but come up behind a tree and the only tree down that right hand side. Couldn't really go sideways back at the fairway. Had to try and advance it forwards with the tree next to me. Clipped it underneath, it's hit the branch, and instead of dropping down, it's sort of deflected at right angles back into the trees. I've then gone underneath and just out the back of the green, chipped it on and missed it, and made six. Made an easy five down the par five, and an easy four down the last, um, nice little iron down the middle. Clipped it on, just missed the part as you saw in the, the video there, and that was it. So, 78 today at Bungie, the, the course played nicely, the greens were really good, the, the fairways are still recovering from the summer, so many golf courses around are, are still recovering from all that great weather, but um, not great weather for grass. So it was one of those days I haven't played the greatest. I feel like there's some good stuff in there. I am going to have a little look at my pre-shot routine because at times I did feel like that let me down a little bit today. Too many thoughts um, coming in whilst getting settled over the ball and over the golf ball. So need to get rid of those to start playing some better golf. But guys, that's the round review. They're the stats. It isn't the greatest round of golf you'll ever see or I'll ever play. It will be getting better, but the swing feels better. I struck it okay today. Just need to get out on that course a bit more and start some scoring. As always, guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you'd like to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, those two things help me and Simon out massively with the channel. And we'll see you down here at PJ Live 365 again very soon.